Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania is a dynamic and diverse city with many different facets. No wonder it's known as the Diamond City. It has a rare combination of nostalgic charm, an innovative present, and an exceptionally bright future. Wilkes-Barre has it all. Big entertainment options, great shopping, outstanding educational institutions, a thriving business community, beautiful neighborhoods, and a proud history. Located on the banks of the Susquehanna River in Luzerne County in northeastern Pennsylvania, this city's industrial past was built on coal mining. The Wilkesbury of today is a great place to start a 21st century business or make any dream a reality. Hi, I'm Congressman Matt Cartwright, and I'm proud to represent Pennsylvania's 17th Congressional District. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to go into more depth about just some of what Wilkes-Barre and the surrounding area have to offer. Originally home to the Shawnee and Delaware Indians, Wilkes-Barre was first settled by Europeans in 1769 by Major John Durkee from Connecticut. Durkee named the town Wilkes-Barre after two members of British Parliament. John Wilkes and Isaac Barry, who ardently supported the freedom of the 13 American colonies. With the discovery of anthracite coal and the start of mining operations in 1776, Wilkes-Barre saw exponential growth both in population and industry. The rise of mining brought hundreds of thousands of immigrants to Wilkes-Barre and the surrounding area to work in the numerous mines and collieries that had sprung up. The booming coal industry not only gave Wilkes-Barre its nickname the Diamond City, but also brought a number of accompanying industries such as locomotive and iron manufacturing. The city became a key component of the industrial framework of northeastern Pennsylvania. A number of national businesses can trace their roots back to Wilkes-Barre, including Woolworths, Bell Telephone, and Planters Peanuts. Other major happenings followed. In 1926, baseball legend Babe Ruth hit one of the longest home runs in history at Wilkes-Barre's Artillery Park. And in 1976, Wilkes-Barre played an instrumental role in the advent of modern cable television when 365 residents of the city became the first to receive Service Electric's broadcast of HBO. Located just two hours from New York City and Philadelphia, Wilkes-Barre is easily accessible by three major interstate highways, an international airport, and bus service through the recently renovated Intermodal Center in the heart of the city. For commuters, bus service is available to both Philadelphia and New York City almost hourly. Wilkes-Barre's urban environment with its diverse neighborhoods and residents make it an ideal location for a new business. Wilkes-Barre doesn't just provide prime real estate for businesses, but it also offers a variety of support to help young businesses grow and flourish. Organizations such as the Greater Wilkes-Barre Chamber of Commerce, the Northeastern Pennsylvania Alliance, the Small Business Development Center at Wilkes University, and the Wilkes-Barre branch of the U.S. Small Business Administration provide unparalleled support. Chris Jones is the former CEO of Pepper Jam, an internet marketing agency he founded and sold to eBay. In 2010, Chris founded an early-stage technology investment fund called KBJ Capital in downtown Wilkes-Barre which includes portfolio companies Highlighter.com, PathMap, and ReferLocal.com, a local digital commerce platform. I've selected Northeastern Pennsylvania to uh, build and invest in companies for two reasons. One, it's a great place to live and a great place to raise my three children. Uh, the second reason is, is that the infrastructure is here, the young talent from the 13 colleges and universities in our region as well as the infrastructure around previous companies who have succeeded in this region, including companies like Pepper Jam, Refer Local, Solid Cactus, iGourmet.com, and others. My focus has been primarily on early stage technology companies, and there's a, an abundance of talent within this region um, that is available at really cost uh, effective and affordable rates, um, and it's allowed me to both build and invest in, in companies here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Michelle Kessler serves as the Secretary-Treasurer of the United Food and Commercial Workers Local 1776. 
Kessler is the chairperson of UFCW Outreach, a group dedicated to building a labor environment that cherishes diversity, dignity, and safety. Uh, one of the great things about the Wilkes-Barre area is the sense of community, and that sense of community transcends into our workplaces. Um, here at Schott, uh, right outside of uh, Wilkes-Barre, and here's a great example of workers working together to help develop a fabulous apprenticeship program which has been actually recognized nationally and globally. And one of the reasons it's so successful is, is folks here realize, you know, for future generations to be proud of, you know, what's been accomplished here, you know, we need to start building that right now. And that sense of pride in work, work ethic has been a long history in our area. And certainly when we hear about stories about the coal mines and the garment factories, you know, we, we look on that fondly, but today we've come so far. And uh, if you really want to find out about this area, come and find out the amazing things we're doing in the Wilkes-Barre area. Wilkes-Barre offers a wide variety of educational opportunities, from an impressive public school system to a first-rate network of private secondary schools to two colleges, Wilkes University and King's College. Also nearby are the Penn State Wilkes-Barre campus, Misericordia University, and Luzerne County Community College. Wilkes-Barre also boasts accessible quality health care, including two area hospitals, a Veterans Administration Hospital, and a wide variety of clinics, offices, and other health care centers to serve the city's residents. Wiko Van Genderen is CEO of the Greater Wilkes-Barre Chamber of Business and Industry and the Growth Partnership. A global executive with 30 years of experience, Van Genderen most recently served as CEO and Managing Director for Diebold Corporation's Asia-Pacific Operations. You know, while my background is over 30 years in the private sector running global operations, you know, it's really given me a very unique perspective. You know, my last assignment was running Asia Pacific for Fortune 500, and the biggest lesson that I learned was is how much you underappreciate what we have here in the United States. That as a businessman looking for value propositions, there are really strong ones, both in the Wilkes-Barre area, in Luzerne County, and in northeastern Pennsylvania. And today, we have a strong base of manufacturing, energy, and healthcare. And we have a solid base of interstate commerce. And what a lot of people don't realize is that we also have a litany of e-commerce businesses. For example, with eBay as the corporate hub of enterprise marketing right here in downtown Wilkes-Barre. That to me is innovation. Wilkes-Barre is also a great place to relax and have fun. Downtown Wilkes-Barre uniquely combines the city's impressive past and urban charm with the great outdoors. The Luzerne County Historical Society, the oldest of its kind in Pennsylvania, provides a glimpse into the area's rich history. With permanent exhibits on the Native American inhabitants of the area and the anthracite mining industry, along with a variety of rotating exhibits, the Society's Museum ensures the preservation and promotion of the city's notable industrial and cultural history. Walking along the historic tree-lined streets near the museum, will take you past Victorian era mansions that celebrate Wilkes-Barre's illustrious and prosperous past. It will also take you down to the riverfront. There you'll find Wilkes-Barre's Riverfront Park, one of the oldest public parks in America, set aside strictly for the enjoyment of the public. Here, the banks of the Susquehanna River come alive with a variety of events, from yoga classes to concerts to river fest, an annual three-day festival that celebrates the Susquehanna and offers an opportunity to take in the city from a kayak on the river. Back in town, Wilkes-Barre offers a variety of other entertainment and recreation opportunities for all ages. See the latest blockbuster at Movies 14 or enjoy a concert, play, or comedian at the FM Kirby Center, a historic Art Deco theater, an example of the Hollywood golden age of the 1930s and 1940s right on Public Square. Public Square also hosts a weekly farmer's market during the summer months where you can shop for a variety of locally grown fruits and vegetables while listening to live music. Speaking of live music, the Mohegan Sun Arena, just a short drive from downtown, serves as a major concert venue for the area, drawing a variety of top singers and bands. Mohegan Sun Arena is also home to the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, an American Hockey League affiliate 
of the NHL's Pittsburgh Penguins. Tom Layton began his tenure as the mayor of the city of Wilkes-Barre in 2004. Layton and his administration have focused on cultivating growth through economic development initiatives, increasing public safety, and enhancing the quality of life in the city's neighborhoods. There are plenty of things to do now in the city of Wilkes-Barre. Uh, we're home to 15,000 uh, workers Monday through Friday. We're the fourth largest downtown workforce in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, we're home to King's College, Wilkes University, and Luzerne County Community College on Public Square, which brings thousands of students into our city September through the end of May. The city downtown offers many different types of restaurants, many diverse restaurants. You can have Japanese, you can have Thai, you can have Indian, you can have Italian. There's bistros in the downtown that offer sandwiches and burgers. For those that want to shop in the downtown, that want to go to the movies, or just want to come and spend the night in the beautiful downtown Wilkesbury. Not far from a number of Wilkesbury's notable restaurants is a premier shopping district with a number of adjacently located plazas to satisfy your every shopping need. Wilkesbury is far more than its downtown or shopping areas. It is comprised of a number of dynamic and unique neighborhoods that make it the diverse and energetic city it is today. Wilkesbury has a lot to offer. I'm proud to represent Wilkesbury in northeastern Pennsylvania. Through its humble mining beginnings, to its rise to national status, to its modern day charm, Wilkesbury has always been resourceful and resilient. The future for this city is so full of promise. I invite you to consider letting it be part of your family's story.